I've been married for a year to my wife and I still have my V-card. What do I do here? I'm not sure if this is the right place for this or not. So I apologize if it isn't. My 22M wife 26F and I got married in February of last year 2021. We had a small ceremony due to COVID restrictions and our honeymoon was cancelled. Due to the same issues, we'd been dating for four years prior to getting married and in that time, we haven't had clappings or anything close to it. We've kissed and cuddled and things like that. All good and I like doing that but we've never done anything more. She told me that she was waiting for marriage, which is fine, and I was happy with that as I have always thought that we'd get married. Fast forward to the wedding day, and I'm about to explode from excitement. Firstly, I'm marrying the woman of my dreams. Secondly, we finally get to have clapping time. The wedding itself was really nice. Pretty basic in a small chapel, close family only. Then back to her parents' house for a meal. We then went back to my wife's house and I was ready for it. But she said she was too tired after a long day. No problem. What's one more day? I wake up the next morning and she's gone out already. No idea what time she left. And just a note on the fridge. That was almost a year ago. Every time I've tried to broach the subject she's either too tired, upset, not in the mood, or some variation of it. She's called me obsessed with clapping as I was asking most days at one point. But how can I be obsessed if I've never had it? I've taken her on romantic date nights and as soon as clapping is mentioned she is put off because it should be spontaneous. So I tried spontaneously engaging. But she accused me of attempting to essay her if she didn't give consent prior. I'm so confused. I've grown closer with one of her friends over the last few years. I'm also good friends with her younger brother. And I was out for a coffee with her during the week and she asked how the bedroom life was going. Something she talks about with reference to herself. But I often deflect when she asks about my experiences. When I confess that we had never done anything she was really shocked. I thought who wouldn't be shocked about a married couple where they're both still heavy cards. But no. She was shocked because her friend, my wife, was incredibly promiscuous before she met me and has done all sorts of things with all kinds of different people. She estimates at least 14 lovers that she knows about. This has left me even more confused. Am I just undesirable? Why did she marry me if I'm not attractive? I waited for years to get married and have clapping with the woman that I love. And now I'm still waiting. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Edit. I had a birthday in late January. I'm actually 22. Edit 2. A lot of people seem to be going straight to the divorce. However, I still love my wife, and we've been together for around 5 years, for dating, one married. So I'm looking for advice to fix this, not to run away from her. I appreciate the concern, but I'm here for advice on the relationship, not a way to get out of it. I still want to thank you for taking the time to read and comment. Update. I've been married to my wife for a year and I still have my V-card. Firstly, I want to thank everyone that reached out either on the post or by message. I've read every single post, comment, and message. That was exhausting, by the way. And I appreciate everyone that was thoughtful and wasn't rude. I know that a lot of you want an update. So I'll do my best to convey everything that has taken place in the last 24 hours. I'm sitting at my desk right now and I can't focus on my work at all. The update, where the hell do I start? I sat down with my wife on Sunday. She spent the day at her parents' house on Saturday, which I realize now that I'm writing this has the ramifications of that. At first, she was totally unreceptive. I asked that she just listen and to let me talk, then to take a few moments to consider her response. She agreed. I talked to her calmly, as calmly as I was able to. I told her that I was concerned, that I wanted to love my wife in every way possible, that I married her because I loved all of her, and that I wanted to know what was going on with her. I told her that I knew she had been clappingly active in the past, and I wanted to know why they were able to be with her wholly but I wasn't. This is incredibly simplified, as I talked for almost an hour, and she listened without interrupting. As I talked she started crying, she didn't sob or break down. She was quiet and tears rolled down her cheeks and that, honestly, made something inside me break and I began crying too. I don't cry. I haven't cried since I scuffed my knee when I was seven. Exaggeration. But you get the idea. After I finished talking we sat and looked at each other for some time. I could see she was thinking. She just silently shook her head. At that point things nearly fell apart. As I asked if she wanted me to contact a solicitor on Monday to begin divorce proceedings. She fully broke down then. She cried so hard, sobbing, that she ended up as a ball on the floor. This shocked me. I've never seen her like that. I don't remember doing it, 
I ended up on the floor cuddling her whilst she cried. And then the dam broke, she started talking. And I, I really don't know what to say other than repeat what she said to me. I've got her permission to type this all out, but I have to keep it vague for reasons that will become obvious. So her dad, from here on I'll call him Dave, isn't her real dad. Dave came into her life when she was seven. Her bio dad exited when she was just five. I never knew this. I just knew him as her dad. Dave was the perfect dad for years, by her memory. He took her out for ice cream, looked after her when she was sick, spent money on her, bought her nice things, etc. You know, dad stuff. When she was 13 or 14, he began to touch her, his excuse. Apparently, was that she was a developing young woman and she was a temptation for all men. So who better than someone that loves her, as you can guess, this developed to him coming to her bed late at night, when she was in her later teen years. 16, 17 she thinks, he would take her out and allow his friends to have fun with her. One of these friends went around bragging about it, and word got out and my wife got tarnished with a few nasty monikers that I'll let you imagine. Her friend, the one I had coffee with, heard about it, and other conquests through the grapevine. She knew my wife at the time, but they weren't really friends until college where she tried to ask my wife about it. But my wife shrugged it off, I asked how the friend knew, as it confused me somewhat. When she was about to head off to university, Dave bought a house around the corner from his for her to live in. This is the house we have been living in for the past few years. He would make regular visits to her here, and keep financial control over her bank account, and the fact that he owned the house. Dave wasn't happy when my wife met me, and insisted that she not sleep with me. Me being a V-card holder made that sell easier, I guess. He threatened to expose her and to kick her out of the house and cut her off. This continued until our engagement. I actually asked that man for his daughter's hand in Mary and he acted thrilled. He even gave me an expensive bottle of whiskey to celebrate. Dave promised my wife that he would end the arrangement when we got married and even give her a parting gift by transferring the house into her name and giving her a cash present. Safe to say that didn't happen. He decided that she was too good for me on our wedding day. Our wedding day, he demanded a guac 3000 off her and told her to come over the following day, which is where she was. He told her, whilst he was doing bad things to her, that he wouldn't tolerate another man using her body and that I wasn't a lad inside her. After he was done with her she left and cried all day and even thought about ending herself. When I heard that, I very nearly lost it, I'm not a small guy, 6 foot 3 and well built, and I was ready to go around and rip this thing apart. My wife stopped me and continued her swimming, although some think she was using it as a cover, was legit. She swims daily and it's her way of coping. The regular visit to her parents' house are for him. There was more, so much more. My heart hurts, hell. My very soul hurts, I didn't sleep at all last night, and I have this burning anger and hatred deep down. I still love her, but my soul feels like it's been torn apart. As soon as she got it all out, I contacted the police, who came to the house and took her statement. All of the stuff she said to me and more that I either don't remember or she left out to spare me. She gave names, dates, showed phone records and written evidence from emails and a secure messenger that Dave insisted she used to chat with him. Everything. He and his wife, my wife's mother were arrested immediately. I've arranged for her to go to therapy. The first session is this week. That's the update. It's horrible. It's a mess. I'm a mess. My wife is a mess, I'm going to be here for her. I'm going to try and set things right and do whatever I can. We're getting the freak out of this house as soon as we can. I'm looking for rentals at the moment. I have almost enough saved to put a down payment on a new house. But we'll cross that bridge when we're ready. Thanks for being here. Thanks for letting me rant. And thanks for your support.